nobody belongs to you and once you realize this this will simply set you free we as humans be choosing bondage we be choosing slavery because we don't realize that we have a choice of our own freedom and our own awareness of realizing that dang man nobody belongs to me so let me set them free so basically like, she just lives life without any expectations at any well, point I mean, in terms of why on a pedestal she's they like I, I don't i don't think you won't cheat on me so i'm not i'm not i'm not tripping so if it happens yeah, but that's it's not on a pedestal but if you're yeah. in a relationship with somebody and it's like okay the, the expectation is going to be some kind of expectation but, 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 you know, but why does it have to be We got a woman that says cheating is just an illusion. Okay. See? Nobody belongs to anybody. Come on now. I mean, let's see what she said. Right yeah, not. Yeah. It's this yeah. podcast. Aww. Let's go. It's an unpopular opinion, but this is the one she that's free right here. Realizing that no one can cheat on you. Okay. It's about understanding that you have no possession over nobody. Come on, nobody somebody. belongs to you. And once you realize this, this will simply set you free. We as humans be choosing bondage. We be choosing slavery because we don't realize that we have a choice of our own freedom and our own awareness of realizing that, dang, man, nobody belongs to me. So let me set them free. But a lot of people don't want to hear this. I know, man. This is when you uh, gotta stop taking things so personal. Mm, stop feeling it, bro. like you have ownership. And it ain't just about that. Somebody it's not else about control. Well and someone else's life decisions. If they want to do what they want to do, it has nothing to do with you. They did not cheat on you. They cheated on themselves. Okay, see, so you lost. They it. have no loyalty to themselves. Stop making everything about you. This is them. This is their character, and they just exposed it to you. You can either deal with it, cry about saying. it, pout about it, or move on with it. It's up to you, boo. Okay, so okay, who want to start first? First of all, okay. if you if, if, if the person has a commitment to you. That is, a, and, and they're cheating. It's not about bondage. It's about okay. You just cheated on our commitment. If I'm committed to you, when you're supposed to be committed to me, how is that? How am I putting you into bondage when that was your choice? What the hell? You go ahead, bro. <laughs> I get parts of what she's saying. I mean, at, at the end of the day, the whole free spirit, you know, fly like a bird type of uh, yeah, ideology. Chain around her neck, uh. That's her thing, but I mean, at the end of the day, I, I I don't know how cheating is an illusion. I guess I I understand what she's saying. Like, you don't own anybody. Trying yeah, to own anybody, I, but I don't think she's meaning like on a physical plane. I think she's meaning like from a metaphysical standpoint. Like, you don't own them, so why why even think that they would be they wouldn't cheat on you? I think she's trying to come from that standpoint. Like, if you think about it, like like I'm the type of person where I don't expect anybody to do anything for me. So when they do, it's just a bonus. I can you can never let me down because I'm never thinking you're going to do anything for me in the first place. So Man, basically, like, she just lives life without any expectations at any well, point. I mean, you in don't terms put of why on a pedestal. She's they like, I, I don't, down. I don't think you won't cheat on me. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tripping. So if it happens, yeah, but that's, it's not on a pedestal. But if you're yeah. in a relationship with somebody, and it's like, okay, the, the expectation is going to be some kind of expectation. But, listen, but, you know, but why does it have to be? She's just listen. saying that she she doesn't expect it. So the fact that if you don't do it, then it's fine. But if you do do it. I wasn't expecting. So are let, let you me, really committed to that person? Because if that's the way you're thinking, you're thinking, okay, you know what? You, you might as well just do what you want to do. Why even be in a relationship? No, but she didn't say that. That wasn't her word. She said. Listen, I, I always say, and this is why I threw the marriage part in. If I'm not married to you. I'm single. I'm single. And you're single. So there, there is no bonding commitment. So you don't believe in committed relationships other than marriage? Okay. No, I do. Wait a minute, so you so just got your single. No, no. But I mean it, it's up to the person, like, yo, this is this is the person I want to be with, so I'm going to commit myself. But if that person cheats, I ain't committed to you. Now, but guess what? 
our whole dynamic change. Yeah, true. Because now, now I'm looking at you just, oh, it's, it's just a knockoff thing. So why even be with the person still? Why not just leave him alone? Knockoff thing. What are you? Okay, you saying it's just a knockoff thing. Sleep with However, the woman. but does the woman still think that you're still in a relationship? I could care less. Oh, what she think? Oh, no, I have <laughs> shots. No, I mean that's the truth. <laughs> because if you cheat on me, and I still, I'm still with you, I man. I could care less what you think. Because my phone calls thereafter is guess what? It's the other way around. What if we? What if you cheat? Why would I cheat? I'm just asking. If I commit myself, I'm I'm not I'm not cheating. Now, back in the day, I was young. I've cheated, but as as a man get older, he put all that bullshit aside. This this is the woman. Do I'm they? Woman. Some guys. Nah, I'm not, I, I ain't say all still men playing them games because there there are there are some men. Who, I think the older you get, the the more mature. But that's not the truth. God bring some sage out with. <laughs> Dang, it's like this. She gotta burn that one. Oh, demons away. Yeah, burn. I think, in my opinion. My opinion, a man who got who has something to do, who has things to do, don't have time for that bullshit cheating. If he want to be with you, look, baby, listen, I need a woman by my side, but I got to go out here. I got to get this money. I got to make sure my legacy is intact. I got to make sure my inheritance is intact. I got to make sure my, my, my children are good. So what about those situations where, quote unquote, something just happens? I don't believe that shit. It happened. I believe that's that's some bullshit talk. Listen, how as a person, how? Listen, I'm like yeah. you answer personal with me. Go ahead. You. It can be in a relationship, a long term relationship, right? He's with this woman, lives with this woman, or whatever the case may be, and then he just so happens to stumble across somebody that has great energy, so and then something just happens, and then the two of them, you know, end up being physical at some point. My dick not gonna fall up in you because I'm not putting myself in that that type of position. But it happens. Ooh, or, 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 no, no, I'm not putting myself in that. Type. It happens because it happens. because he. He or she didn't look for that shit to happen. That is if, true. If a woman says, oh, come on, after work, let's go out and let, let's get a couple of drinks. No. That is I true. know what's going to happen. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, let's go out and get a couple That's of drinks. You call your man, I'm going to call my woman, and all four of us are going to go out and get some drinks. Myself in that time. There's you a, put yourself in that type of position, that's the shit that happens. There's a lot of... Hold on real quick, uh, real quick. Uh, no, no, no. As a man, a man has to... He, he got to know what the fuck is going on. He has to know his surroundings at all times. No, I agree. Nope. I'm not doing it. No. So, oh, you want me so to hire this? In, in, the, si oh. in the situation when that happens, <laughs> you saying basically he's not a man? They got no, nothing to do with no. it. Yeah, no, nah, no. he can still be a man. Okay. It's just self-discipline. Like, yeah. I can honestly say there's been a lot of situations in my past that I could have avoided. And because of a, a certain situation that I have with within me, I couldn't resist the temptation. I was just like, oh, my God, let me just see. And then I get there and I'm like, oh, shucks. I knew I shouldn't have put myself in this position. <laughs> yeah, but like, now I'm no. past the point of no return. I'm like, oh, and me. How again, was that the point of no return where you could just leave? I, because because, because again, you're, 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 or not even that. <laughs> I honestly tell you, I, I again, people have been addicted to crack. People have been addicted to meth, alcohol. I, when I tell you I was addicted to that, like it really ran my life. It's the reason why I got cars. It's the reason why I hung out in the places I hung out because I was really addicted to that. So I had no self discipline. I you, you I know you've had this happen to you. Where in your life, you look back and you be like, you think about a woman, and you be like, why the hell did I even? Why did she Man. even cross my threshold? Man. That's because you know you didn't have no self. You just wanted to do that, and it just she was the warm body. And there you know, you know it always it always come across your mind when you land in the bed. And you look over at her like and it's that. Post, it's called post nut clarity. Why, After why did you didn't do what I did. That post nut clarity, and you look over and say, "Why am I right here? Yeah, what and, is the point of me? I, I'm here for no I, I, absolute reason." And I think as a, as a real man, you don't put yourself in those nope, type yeah. those type positions. Because look, look, a man knows when a woman has his best interest and a woman has his worst interest. And most of these goddamn females, these Jezebels out here now today, they be like, oh, you happily married? Let me see if I can fuck that up. Mm -hmm. If long as you know that in the back of your mind, yeah. when she like, oh, come on, let's go get some drinks after work. Hell no, you Jezebel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't put myself in that yeah, position. You got to be something. <laughs> it's the other way around, too. But again, the thing about but, it. Is wait a minute. Let, let, me, let me add this real quick, bro. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me tell you something. When, when, I, when I was out there doing the things that I did, mm -hmm. you know how many women I turned? Turned what? Like, oh, you happily married? 
And and guess where they at? Bro. Get bent at? over. Bro. Mm. Getting it because um, listen. I'm telling you right now, you you most of these young women, I ain't gonna say older women, because most of these young women, you get you give them an air to lean on or I'm sorry, shoulder to lean on and air to, to they get weed. Oh, Self-discipline goes both ways. No, but that. as a man, you gotta yeah, you gotta discipline. And so do women. No, but listen, again, at the end of the day, it's different because men How don't, is it different? It's a little bit different. Men don't have sex in the manner that women do. So to men, it's just, it's just a physical, physical activity right. that gives us some dopamine in the brain that makes us, us women, feel good. Most mental. women don't smash just like for sport. We do. And so it's like you have to have more discipline because again, you if you get to that point, you've, you've emotionally connected sport. with that woman for somehow, something. Something you did emotionally connect with her. So you got to have the self-discipline to be like, no, nah, I ain't going. If she asked me to leave her, I'm not leaving or I'm not going nowhere intimate with her one on one. It's like those situations. There's situations now that I have that's like that. Oh, you, oh, listen. Oh, I heard you was in the uh, real estate. Um, Let's go. Let's go get some dinner and chop. No, I'm not doing that. I know what that can lead to. Listen, I can. When she's sitting there saying that, oh, what's she thinking? Like, oh, wait a minute. Talk to you over Zoom. Estate? We can go to yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Let talk. me get a little bit more information. Let yeah. me see what I can get out of him. So yeah, sometimes let, you yeah. got just you got had a discipline, and again, I I literally just got it like 2018. I struggled with it the first time. I'm like, okay, I got a little better with my choices now. I wasn't hitting, I wasn't hitting Booger Wolves 2007. Uh, yeah, and we had that. He ever dealt with is not watching this. And, uh, listen, because I would and, sit there like, wait a minute, I know his ass. Hey, I've hit a couple of toothless. Don't DM me because if it's you and you don't be upset, <laughs> uh, you hit a couple Booger Wolves before, so now you like your decision making get better, but it's still like, damn, like I want to do this, but. I got Shorty back home. I, I, there's no reason that I need to do this. Now, again, if Shorty ain't giving you that that uh, that uh WAP, then you need to have that conversation with her and say, listen, your WAP is not whopping. I need you to WAP a little bit more. And then if then if that's not it, you go on your separate ways. But, like, you got to have that self-discipline. And I did. Don't look I at me. I struggle with it. So hey, he said, your wop ain't whopping. He ain't talking to me. Damn. <laughs> Look, I'm I know a, what I got over here. Sorry, let me. I, I retract. Once a man reaches. <laughs> now, now, I'm. I know a couple of men who are still in their childhood phase, out there cheating and still them, but they just do, do what they do. Immaturity. Immaturity. Yes. You know what I mean? But me, myself, I got, I got a good woman. I'm, yo, I'm good. I'm good. Listen. But if I see you out there doing some shit you ain't supposed to be doing, then guess what? Who's Satan coming out? God listen. L- listen. Satan ain't out. nothing to be played with. Shout out, my, shout out my man, ooh, because this is how it happened. You get the booger wolf at the last call. Last call for alcohol. <laughs> You've you been shooting blanks all hey, day. Ooh. And then you like, Leave ooh. him alone. Uh, he tell no, me he's that. telling he the truth. That's how it be. You could have been shooting your shot all night, hitting bricks. Bricks. And then you hear that last call. So you, hop, you walk over to the bar and you see... Medusa over there, you like because that's when it. they turn that light on. Man, what's that? This put it, put it in my mouth. She <laughs> she might look like a gargoyle, but she is <laughs> built like a dance. Like, listen, I'm gonna just take this one for the team. Look, been there before, guy. We, we always took one for the team. Oh man, this your podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell us what you think.